afternoon. So Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading the 18th of October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and marking updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay. Uh, it certainly seems like it's another bullish session. Again, <laughs> Asian markets certainly continue their move higher overnight, uh, unabated. Uh, if we bring up the Nikkei again, uh, as I discussed yesterday, yeah, let's look at the Nikkei. It was showing some certain signs of uh, breaking out. Uh, as you can see, the yen certainly is falling, and uh, which is allowing the uh, Nikkei to, to certainly push higher. If we bring up the daily chart, the Nikkei it certainly pushed higher again to new highs. It certainly seems like it doesn't want to stop. The, day, the weekly chart, you can see clearly uh, breaking out. Uh, the monthly chart at the moment, you're certainly uh, uh, witnessing a potential breakout here. Next potential resistance is 22,740. Now, we do have the election as well coming up. So, again, it'll be interesting to see how the markets react there. Okay. In terms of China, let's quickly bring up the age mark by the chart of China because we really do want to see a reversal. We need to see weakness there. Obviously, Mr. Xi Ping conference certainly has started. It'll see how the markets react. Now, uh, Kiwi and Aussie certainly have fallen, even though Mr. Xi Ping certainly is uh, obviously uh, forecasting growth and and uh, quality growth going forward it certainly seems like they're reacting negatively thus far okay so uh, in terms of uh, asian markets still remain buoyant no signs of weakness there U us markets as well yesterday certainly set all-time highs again the s p is breaking through that 2560 barrier which in turn obviously triggering the short sides well it's triggering a short squeeze and as we've seen in europe today uh, European uh, equities, you have the DAX now making all-time highs at 13.060. Uh, you have the uh, French CAC at uh, uh, 5392, very impressive. Okay, certainly pushing higher. In terms of um, economic data today, uh, nothing really. We had Mr. Draghi's speech, but nothing of any real major importance, although it, the euro certainly fell regardless, even when you, after yesterday's inflation figures coming in stronger than expected. Uh, UK employment report certainly came in more or less as expected, although average earnings did actually increase by 2.2%, and therefore beating forecast slightly. Claimant count did actually slightly go higher. Having said that, average earnings certainly have pushed higher as well. A European construction output data came in negative, and we've seen um, several negative reports from regards to US. Building permits are down 4.5%. Housing starts changed down as well. Uh, building permits in a month and month, okay, both down. So housing starts and building permits certainly on the lower side. Obviously, if you're raising rates, housing st uh, starts are going to get hit, okay. And, and uh, reality you know, certainly is starting to uh, to be embraced there. So bear that in mind. US dollar certainly is on the uh, increase. Certainly is moving higher in the back of obviously expectations that they are going to maintain the hawkish stance at the uh, the actual Fed and are going to raise rates. If I bring up the dollar, the, uh, the chart, of the dollar, you can see here daily chart. Okay, uh, certainly pushing higher here now. 60 minute chart, you've got a potential double top there. Okay, so a watch out for that double top. Okay, in terms of uh, uh, technicals now, let's still move over to the German DAX. You'll see the technical picture here. You can see we, we broke higher up to 13,100. It was one hell of a short squeeze uh, today. Okay, so the bulls certainly are reigning supreme, as you can see, new all time highs in the German DAX. 60 minute chart at the moment, you can see we broke, and I was expecting that double top to hold at 1,034. That hasn't been the case. We've certainly uh, broken through it. Okay, it certainly seems like the bulls are having one hell of a party at, at present. Okay, so again, bulls are, are in control in the German DAX. Certainly have broken higher. It's very hard to argue to the contrary. So certainly seems like even though the situation in Spain certainly has failed to deter it. Even yesterday's inflation data indicating a hawkish ECB again failed to deter it. Failed to deter it. So you have the Euro USD at the moment still languishing at 1.1750 zone. I bring up the chart of the euro usd uh, again i was expecting a bounce here on the back of that stronger inflation number uh, which in turn obviously causes the german dax to fall that hasn't been the case so i've certainly been wrong from that perspective uh, happy to accept that okay my analysis certainly hasn't worked there at all okay four hour chart uh, again uh, i was expecting this fib uh 61 percent to hold we hit a pivot lower seven one one seven thirty before we've actually bounced interesting scenario okay interesting scenario with regards to euro usd especially with inflation numbers ticking higher as well it's very hard to understand as to why the euro usd isn't moving higher one could obviously only uh, allude that or indicate that it's the us dollar us dollar certainly affirming at present and from my perspective we're targeting at 1.1950 zone that would be my target on the euro usd on the upside okay the unfilled gap okay that's the status quo now if the euro usd starts to rise from here that in turn obviously causes European equity, equities to fall and vice versa. So 
We'll see how that plays out. German Dax at the moment certainly maintaining bullish. I mean, it's very hard to argue bearish here. Okay, the only way I can argue bearish is based on f fundamentals and fundamentals with the hawkish ECB, given the uh, yesterday's inflation numbers coming in stronger than expected. It's going to be very hard to argue to the contrary. We've had reports of 2.5 trillion cap in terms of uh, QE. Uh, there's been reports of uh, obviously cutting back on QE, etc., etc. Uh, one needs to take that into account. 60 minute chart, French CAC as well. Look at that impressive thrust higher. Okay, yesterday US markets pushed to new highs, European farm markets follow suit. Bear in mind, having said that, you do have an unfilled gap here. Okay, you've got an unfilled gap that you're targeting at 5405. Certainly looking for that target, that gap to hold, and certainly act as resistance as well. If that doesn't act as resistance, then you have 5417. So solid, solid resistance on the French CAC, so bear that in mind. 60 minute chart is very hard to argue bullish here, folks. Sorry, hard, hard to argue bearish here. Uh, but fundamentals, from my perspective, one would argue uh, bearish. Okay, that's what my argument is right now. I've actually taken out a short uh, position on the CAC as well. So looking for a potential retrace down to 5,370, uh, potentially even lower to 5,345. Okay, 10-minute chart of the French CAC. Let's give you a quick insight here. Intraday potential double top here. Let's see if we can hold. If we do push back, then obviously the breakout was at 5,375. Uh, you do have potential uh, gap. Uh, let's see where we open today. Uh, Yesterday, today, yeah, we closed around this zone here, 5360. So that's your support level down here. Impressive thrust. I mean, 5360 up to 5395. So, again, let's see how this market continues to play out. Okay. The bulls certainly are in the driving seat. FTSE 100 at the moment, still, uh, from my perspective, still uh, suppressed, uh, uh, certainly under pressure as well. Daily chart, as you can see, clearly uh, help building a wall of resistance at 7555. Okay, 60 minute chart as well. You're certainly looking for resistance. I was expecting the HS formation to play out, certainly has failed thus far. Okay, um, for now, you can see we had a pivot low here. That pivot low certainly has held as well. Okay, I was expecting this key diagonal trend line to hold. We certainly seem to have broken above that for now. So, in terms of resistance, you're still expecting resistance here at 7551, and you're expecting resistance at 7555, and looking for the markets to get crushed. That's what my interpretation and expectation is. A impressive thrust from 7515, certainly looking for that to retest and potentially even move lower. So certainly indicating weakness on the back of Brexit concerns, okay? Um, uh, concerns over Brexit. Mr. Carney certainly maintaining his hawkish stance, going to raise rates, etc., etc. So from my perspective, FTSE 100 certainly is in a lot of trouble, okay? Oil prices now coming into resistance as well as Kirkuk oil fields. Certainly concerns uh, obviously alleviated there to a large extent as well. Okay, we still have North Korean concerns in the background as well, Catalonian concerns as well, and Brexit is an absolute total to mess with these incompetent Tory fools. Either way, that's the status quo. Okay, let's see how the market interprets it. In my opinion, is irrelevant. The markets obviously always dominate. Okay, in terms of price action. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.